Hello students, today we are going to do chapter 11 construction. In this session we will take exercise 11.2 in which we will learn to draw tangents to circles. So, let us start with our first question. Question is draw a circle of radius 6 centimeter from a point 10 centimeter away from its center construct the pair of tangents to the circle and measure their lengths. So, let us start our construction. For that first we will draw a circle of radius 6 centimeter. So, you can see that this compass is open for 6 centimeter and I will take any center on the plane and draw the circle. Let me mark the center as O. Now, from the center O, I will take a point P at a distance of 10 centimeters. So, here I have 10 and this is the center. Let me join these two points. This is point P. From this point, I am asked to draw pair of tangents to this circle. Let me name this circle as C1. So, for this the first step is I will draw perpendicular bisector of line segment OP. To draw the perpendicular bisector, I will open the compass more than half of OP, then taking P as center, I will mark two arcs, one above OP and the other below this. line segment OP, one arc I am going to mark below this. Then with the same radius and taking O as center, mark two arcs intersecting previous two arcs at two distinct points. We will join these two points to get perpendicular bisector of OP. This perpendicular bisector intersects OP at a point which is the midpoint of OP and let me call it M. Now, Taking M as center and OM as radius, students I can take OM radius as well as MP as radius. You know M is midpoint of OP, so OM and MP are equal in lengths. So, taking M as center and OM or MP as radius, I will draw another circle let us call this circle as C2 to construct pair of tangents to a circle we join the point from which we want to draw the tangents with these two points where these two circles intersect. We will be following these steps in our further constructions also. So, let us see here. As we have taken point P before also, let me name this point as R. So, I will join P with R and P with Q to get pair of tangents that is two required tangents. So, 
सो स्टूडेंट्स पी आर एंड पी क्यू आर आवर टू रिक्वायर टेंजेंट्स टू सर्कल सी वन विच हैज रेडियस सिक्स सेंटीमीटर नाउ लेट एस जस्टिफाई दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड फॉर दैट आई विल ड्रॉ रेडियस ओ आर विच इज रेडियस ऑफ सर्कल सी वन एंड रेडियस ओ क्यू now focus on circle c2 you can see that op is the diameter of this circle so angle orp is an angle made in semi circle it should be 90 degree similarly angle oqp is also angle made in semi circle so it should also be 90 degree now consider circle c1 in circle c1 or is the radius and pr is a line segment which touches circle c1 at one point r and is perpendicular to the radius so pr must be tangent you know the definition of the tangent so the same way we can prove or justify that pq is also tangent to circle c1 so this was the construction for question 1 so let us see steps of construction first step is take any point on the given plane as center draw a circle of 6 cm radius then locate a point p which is 10 cm away from center o join op next step is bisect op so draw perpendicular bisector of op let m be the midpoint of op next step taking m as center and mo as radius draw a circle let the circle that is second circle intersects the previous first circle at point q and r we will join pq and pr these two line segments pq and pr are the required tangents and let us measure length of these two tangents as this was also asked in our question so you can see that length of first tangent is that is pr is 8 cm and same way we can measure length of pq you can see that length of pq is also 8 cm let us move on to second question the question is construct a tangent to a circle of radius 4 cm from a point on the concentric circle of radius 6 cm and measure its length also verify the measurement by actual calculation so let us start this construction for this we first draw a circle of radius 4 cm taking any point on the plane this is our first circle let me mark the center as o now the second circle is concentric to this circle let me name this circle as c1 so concentric circles have same centers but the radius of second circle is given to us as 6 cm so taking the same center o we will draw our second circle of radius 6 cm let this circle be c2 now c2 is circle 
on which we are going to take point P. We can take this point P anywhere on the circumference of C2 and our target is to draw pair of tangents from point P to circle C1. So, what are the steps? The same, we will join center O with the point and then we will draw perpendicular bisector of this line segment OP. Open the compass more than half of OP, two arcs, one above the OP, then one arc below OP, taking again P as center, we will draw two arcs intersecting the previous ones we will join these points and get perpendicular bisector of op This point must be the midpoint of OP and let me name it as M. Taking M as center and OM as radius or MP as radius, we will draw third circle. C 3. Now, as we have done before, we will mark these points of intersection of these two circles. Let me call this point as Q and this one as R. We will join P Q and P R. So, students, this is what they have asked us to do to draw pair of tangents to circle C1 from a point P which should lie on C2. So, the two tangents are PQ and PR. Now, if we want to justify it, we will draw radius. OQ and radius OR. Now, if you look at circle C3, angle PQO is right angle. Again, the same reason it is angle made in semicircle. PO is diameter, the same way angle PRO is 90 degree right angle. Right? So, now we will look at circle C1. In this circle, PQ is line segment touching C1 at point Q and is perpendicular to radius OQ. So, it must be tangent, P Q must be tangent to C 1. Similarly, P R must be tangent to C 1. So, we have drawn pair of tangents. But in this question, we are also asked to verify the uh, measure of these tangents, the lengths of these tangents. So, for that, let us see, we know that length O Q is 4 centimeter that is radius of first circle and OP is 6 centimeters that is radius of our second circle. 
So, if you look at triangle P Q O, it is right angle triangle and if we use Pythagoras theorem, we should have hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So, O P is hypotenuse because, because it is side opposite to 90 degree angle. So, hypotenuse is 6, so take 6 square. Let me take this as base will be 4 square plus I need to find out length of P Q. So, let me take it as P Q square. This is 36, take 4 square to left side transpose it, it will be minus 16 equal to P Q square and 20 equals to P Q square. If you remove this square sign, it will be square root of 20 which will be length of P Q. Of course, we take plus and minus sign when we take square root, but as here we are talking about length of a side, we will do, we will not take negative sign, only the positive sign. So, if we solve square root 20, it will be 2 square root 5, which is P Q and if you solve it, you get 4.47 centimeters as the length of P Q. So, we have drawn pair of tangents to circle C 1 through a point P lying on C 2. Let us see steps of construction. So, the first step will be draw a circle of 4 centimeter radius with center as O on a given plane. Then draw a circle of 6 centimeter radius taking the same center O and locate point P on second circle. Bisect OP, M will be the midpoint of OP. Then taking M as center and OM as radius draw a circle. Let it intersect the circle C 1 at the points Q and R, join P Q and P R, then P Q and P R are going to be our required tangents. So, the length turns out to be 4.47 centimeters. Let me measure the length. So, you can see students this is 4.47 approximately. So, you can measure the length and calculate it as well. Students, let us have a look on one more question. The question is draw a circle of radius 3 centimeter, take two points P and S on one of the extended diameters each or at a distance of 7 centimeter from its center. Then draw tangents to the circle from these two points P and S. I have drawn this figure for you and let us see, let me explain the steps to you and you can draw it yourself, try it out. So, if we look at this construction, first we can take any center on the plane and draw a circle of radius 3 centimeters. From the center, we will mark two points, one towards the left side and the second towards the right side and these two points should be at a distance of 7 centimeter from center O. So, this is 7 centimeter, this is also 7 centimeter. Now, we have two points from where we want to draw tangents to this first circle. For that, we will join OP, draw perpendicular bisector of OP, get midpoint of OP as A, from A as center and OA as radius, draw second circle, find the intersection point of first circle and second circle, you can name it as Q and R, then do the same with the second point S, join OS draw perpendicular bisector, get midpoint B of OS, taking B as center and OB as radius, draw circle, third circle C 3 can, you can name it. Third circle and first circle intersect at two points, you can name them as T and U, 
join PQ and PR, you get two tangents that is pair of tangents from point P to circle C1, first circle. Then joining ST and SU gives you pair of tangents from point S to circle, first circle that is C1. So, the, this gives us two pairs of tangent from two different points. To justify it, of course, you can join radii that is OQ, OR, then OT, o, OU and of course, I hope you can try the justification yourself. You will be able to do it. Students, I hope you have understood how to draw tangents to a circle under different conditions. Keep learning. Thank you.